So, I uh, traded in a bunch of stuff to GameStop, mainly my uh, Xbox 360, because, well, I wasn't using it anymore, and I had a PS3 that, you know, plays video games, um, and plays Blu-ray discs. Well, my Xbox did one thing, it played Halo 3. Now, I like Halo 3, but I am not going to keep one system for one game, especially when the other system does things that the other one can't do, like play Blu-ray discs. So I traded it, and I got, you know, quite a lot a bit of money. So I'd been uh, playing Gran Turismo 5, um... Prologue on the PS3, and I've been watching videos about the uh, Driving Force GT steering wheel by uh, Logitech, and you know I thought it was kind of cool. So I went and looked it up, and um, it was one hundred and fifty dollars listed retail MSRP, and I'm like, well, that's quite a bit. But my uh, outlook on things is when I trade stuff into GameStop and get it on that, you know, card, that that money is play money, you know, money for me to do whatever I want to do with it, like, you know, like, I'm not going to say that I necessarily, like, just spend it on whatever, but at the same time, I spend it on, um, things that I would, uh, not use cash to uh, buy. Um, so it was one hundred and fifty dollars, and like, well, that's quite a bit expensive. But you know, it's supposed to be a really good steering wheel, and it you know, especially it works especially well with uh, Gran Turismo because it was you know the people that are de develop Gran Turismo help develop the. Uh, steering wheel plus it's a steering wheel and now I've had steering wheels before for video games but they've all been garbage and they've all been second hand and most of the time they lasted for about 30 seconds before they broke so in general I've never really had a steering wheel and I definitely never had a new one but I'm like I want so, $150, uh, not so bad. But then I went and looked on EB um, Games' website. And it was listed for $130. And I'm like, okay. Like, it was pretty, like, right on the edge. But towing over the edge of uh, buying it for $150. So, $130, I can do that. So I get to the store because, and it took me a while to get to the store because none of the area um, game stops have it in stock. So I went to the store and, you know, I asked if they had it and they're like, yeah, we have it. And it's like way up high, go figure, because it's a $130 item and they don't want it just like walking away on its own. So, you know, they get it down, and she's, well, she, at first she's like, oh, it's $99. I'm like, oh. So they scan it up, and they, I guess it scanned up at $130. Like, it, you know, the price they had listed on the website. But the sticker clearly said $99 on it. Now, at this point, I wasn't going to get too excited about it. Because, you know, I went in there expecting to pay $130 down from the $150 MSRP, yada, yada, yada. I know it's a little bit old, but um, it's not that old because Gran Turismo 5 hasn't even came out, which it was developed for. Prodog is uh, like a glorified demo of um, Gran Turismo 5, which hasn't come out. Um, so, she's like, well... We'll give you the $99 price since that's what it says on it. Apparently, the price went 
down and then back up. I, I don't think I fully understand that. I mean, how do you put $30 back onto a price after you've taken it off? Like, it didn't even seem like it, and maybe it was, but it didn't seem like it was a sale price. It just seemed like they had marked it down. And then they go back up, but whatever. So she gives it to me for um, the $99 price tag. So I'm like happy. So I get home. And I, you know, unpack it. And there's freaking wires all over the place. There's a USB cable that plugs it, you know, into the PS3. And there's a power cord. And then there's the cord that connects the steering wheel to the uh, gas and brake pedals. So it's just wires everywhere. Oh, it's gonna become a real headache unless I can figure out a way to figure it out and not make it such a mess. But anyway, so like you know, I'm like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this because I don't have anywhere to put this thing. So I set it on my lap, and you know, it's definitely fun, and maybe I'll get into an in-depth review of the uh, steering wheel itself at a later time but like I have it on my lap and it's definitely working but it's definitely not something that you want to uh, be having on your lap for more than like two races like max because you know it's shaking all over the place I mean like it has some absurd and I say absurd in a good way um, first feedback features it. so like I said you just don't want that on your lap more than two races or whatever so I find a um, like a, I, don't, I can't even think of what they're actually called but like a TV dinner table you know one of those small tables that folds up and hides away that you uh, use in your family room when you're eating dinner in front of the TV and I uh, hooked, it up, hooked it up to that and uh, this is it I don't know how well this is going to this is the table so um, I didn't know how sturdy it was going to be but as you can see actually looks even more sturdy on video than it is but you know it's pretty sturdy so I used that and it was good. I was surprised that the first feedback didn't knock it over or whatever. Um, that's my fan kicking on because it is uh, above 75 degrees in this room. Um, let me turn that off. So, that was fun. Um, right now I have it over here. What a pain in the butt though. Like the wires and, I mean it's just so bulky and whatever. I have the steering wheel under my bed. Like, <laughs> it is a headache trying to use this unless you have a place where you can just set it up and leave it. It's kind of like the rock band issues that you get with the drum sets and the guitars and not so much the microphone but um and like DDR pads like you know you, these extra add-on um controllers are so much fun to use but like the more fun they are the more of a headache they are to use well not to use but to store um would I suggest buying this? Mm, if you got an extra hundred dollars, well, hundred and thirty dollars just laying around, you know, uh, yeah, sure. But you know, I'm not positive I would buy it if I didn't have the extra spending money. Um, do I think I'm going to be very happy with it? Yeah, definitely. But, uh, I mean, this isn't something that you necessarily uh, should get just to uh, play Gran Turismo. Like, if you're a racing fan, yeah, get this controller. 
if you uh, uh, Mitoka, um racing fan, yeah, probably. But if you you know you enjoy playing Gran Turismo, but you're not getting you know really excited about it in long spats of time, yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it because. It definitely is a luxury item, per se. So, that's that.